Electric car sales in Europe continue to increase at an incredible rate this year. The Tesla Model Y was the best selling car period, passenger car in Australia, non-commercial, but the best selling car period as well in Sweden, Norway, France, the Netherlands, and possibly a bunch of other countries in the month of September in 2023. But in Sweden, well, things are changing very quickly like they did in Norway. In fact, Sweden has now hit a record of 63.4% electric car market share. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. September 2023 EV registrations increased by a, well, a big amount. EVs grew by 61% percent which is i mean not that much compared to say germany but we're coming from a much higher base level here what this means is around one in every two vehicles sold in sweden in the month of september was an electric car i think it's likely but within three years time internal combustion vehicles will be dead in both norway and sweden and possibly some other european countries as well this is happening very very quickly very very scary if you're one of the competition you know if you're not selling many evs if you're not prepared for this transition what were the best selling vehicles in sweden tesla model y number one with 3050 deliveries it took a significant market share nowhere near the market share that the model y took in norway which was 24 percent of the entire market but it was a significant number considering the next best selling electric car was the id4 with a, not quite one third but just over one third the number of deliveries, 1,229. So a big difference to the Model Y's 3,050. Third best seller was the Volvo XC40, a combination of plug-in hybrids and fully electric. Skoda Enyaq was next in fourth with 708, followed by the BYD Addo 3, which had 598 deliveries. Sweden is actually the best selling car market in Europe for BYD. BYDs are selling quite well in Sweden. So interesting, not that, not really not anything happening in Norway, but Sweden, BYD is doing really, really well. A lot of people are keen to buy the Addo 3. Well, next was the MG4. And the two best selling car brands that are non-European in Europe this year have been MG and Tesla. So both MG and Tesla have done incredibly well in Europe this year. Next was the Audi Q4 e-tron with 340 deliveries followed by the Kia Nero, the MG Marvel R, which is an electric kind of a wagon car. Next was the Polestar 2 followed by the BMW i4, the MG ZS EV. As you can see here, MG, three different models in the 10 best sellers. Three, quite a good result. That was followed by the Kia EV6, the Cooper Born, the Volvo C40, the Volkswagen ID3, the MG MG5, another MG, Nissan Leaf, the Volkswagen ID5, and the Mercedes EQE. As you can see, there wasn't any Tesla Model 3s in this list. There was no Tesla deliveries from China for the Model 3. However, the next shipment coming from Tesla's factory in China will be delivering the new Model 3 to uh, Swedish customers. So that'll be kind of an interesting experience seeing those out on the roads. And I think quite a few people will be very keen to get the new version of the Model 3 because it's a lot better than the old version. Very interesting though here to see such domination here from Chinese made cars. A lot of these cars here are made in China and of course the Model 3s, but so is the, so are all these MG cars, so are BYDs, so are some Volvos and Polestars. So a very large percentage of this car market now in Sweden is from China. And of course, the Europeans are panicking now. They're saying they're going to probably taxes, um, some sort of penalties on vehicles made in China. Uh, will this definitely happen? Don't know, because it could hurt Europe more than it helps them. Remember, Europe sell more cars in China than China sell in Europe. But Europe's a bit worried that that's about to change. Is it really going to change? I think it is. It's basically inevitable. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.